Clark, how long were you and the defendant a couple? Oh, about five years, Your Honor. From when to when? Go back to, to February 2017, go back five years, so 2012. So you broke up in February of 2017? Yes. And did you live together during any period of that time? All the time. It is your claim that after you broke up, the defendant used your account and bought two iPhones? Yes, Your Honor. What date did you break up, Ms. Hayes? February 22nd. Can I see on what date the iPhones were purchased? March of 2017. May I see it, please? Your Honor, these are all copies, so they all reflect April of 2018. So I don't really have the actual purchase date, just what I was gathering my information. No, just make a circle on the date she purchased the iPhones. Right here, Your Honor. The date that she purchased. And what does that circle say? March 3rd to April 2nd, 2018. Doesn't help me. This is your responsibility, Mr. Clark. It's your case. We're not talking about something that happened a decade ago. You're suing her for the iPhones that you say were purchased after you broke up when she had no authorization to purchase them. Yes, I have For that. that, I need proof of the date they were purchased. I, uh, I do have it, April of 2018. It wasn't April of 2018. You said it was April of 2017. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Your Honor. I am sorry. Hang on one second. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to recall this case when he gets all the information together. Can Thank I do you my very counter much. Suit? We're done. Mr. Clark, let's start from where we left off. You were going to show me proof as to the date that Ms. Hayes purchased phones after the two of you broke up. I have that, Your Honor. I'd like to see it. The 4295 and the 444 shows they were added uh, on that billing cycle. It says plus iPhone 8. How much were they? $743 each. All right, Ms. Hayes, let's deal with the phones first. The month and year that you and the plaintiff were no longer a couple. February 22nd, 2018. Can you explain to me why there are purchases on his account two months after that? The reason is I was dealing with three phones that were fraudulent on his account. So in order, before we broke up, for me to get another phone because he had broken my phone, I had to wait till those three fraudulent phones cleared up, which I still took care of. I just want to know why you, yes. months after you broke up, used his account to purchase two Because he phones. authorized it. Show me. I can't show you. Show me. Unless we have phone conversations with the phone company. Because no. he authorized show me. I'm on the account. I don't care whether you're on the account. Who's got to pay it? He shut it off. Just Not on the account. Up, up, up. Don't speak to her. You have to understand something. Yes. If you break up with someone and if you obligate their credit to pay something after you've broken up with them and you're no longer living together, sleeping together, sure. schnutschking together, you're going to have to have some proof to me that he authorized you to buy these two phones for 1500 bucks. I will give you the taxes. Here's one. Here's two. Okay. Good. Here's another one. You can just break someone's phone and decide to close an account. That's why it's so high. I don't care. I have no idea what this is. That is I, him stating, do, they're your phones. Do it with them what you want. Just a second. That has nothing to do with these two phones that you bought. But I didn't buy them. Nothing. They no. were on account for both of us. We, we had an account together. You obli just a second. You obligated him to pay for two phones. I didn't obligate him. He shut the account off out of spite. I didn't obligate him. I didn't tell him to. I didn't tell him to go stand on Ms. my Hayes, phone that my Ms. job requires me to Ms. have. Miss Hayes, is my question? Yep. My question to you is: After the two of you broke up, did you order a new phone? Did I order did, a phone? Did you order or receive a new? Did I, you mean, I will answer your question. Did yes, you I did receive one. Yes, I did. Okay. Did yes. you pay for it? Yes, the I new did. New phone. Yes, I did. Show me that you paid for it. It was twenty-five dollars. Just no, show no, me. No. No, I don't have a receipt to pay for, for it. No. Seven hundred and forty-three dollars. Plaintiff side. Now let's okay. go to the defendant. Your, who has your a Honor. counterclaim. I'm speaking. I'm not interested in your fraud. 